Mauritania has chosen to nominate Dr. Fatimatu Mohamed Selek for the post of Deputy Secretary General of the ITU. This candidate is very legitimate in view of the candidate's course. Fatimatu has worked in the world of telecommunications and information technology for decades. After succeeding brilliantly in mathematics studies, which were concluded with a doctorate, Dr. Fatimatu Mohamed Selek graduated in computer engineering. Holding many diplomas, Fatimatu became a professor at the University of the Sciences in Nouakchott, where she has provided her knowledge to younger generations since 1996. While retaining her chair at the university, Dr. Fatimatu was noticed by corporate environment in Europe and in Africa. Multinational companies such as Total, Geomat International, a subsidiary of the French Petroleum Institute, and GBM in the banking sector of Mauritania have all used her expertise. Mauritanian public service will not be outdone. Thus, Dr. Fatimatu was called by the Mauritanian government to manage the first department in charge of information technology and communication. In 2000, she was appointed the first state secretary for ICT to engage the digital revolution that the country expected, a function where she successfully generalized computer technology and government administrations to make them more dynamic and better operational for their users. Soon Mauritanians will call her Ms. Internet. This almost free service of access to information will revolutionize Mauritania and the world. Cyber cafes will soon open their doors in every neighborhood of the city of Nouakchott and in the countryside towns. Young Mauritanians will be the main proponents, like other young people around the world. Dr. Fatimatu will open with all her strength tens of thousands of cyber cafes, even in the most remote villages of the Mauritanian desert, a way for her to bridge the digital divide at the local level. Dr. Fatimatu Mohamed Salik will also introduce the computer into the Mauritanian schools wherever they are. <laughs> Telemedicine and other social services will be launched during her ministry period. After leaving her ministry duties, Dr. Fatimatu remained very close to the environment of high-tech telecommunications, serving as Director General of Servotics and International Consultant at several public and private institutions, among national, regional, and international levels, and especially among United Nations, where she will be asked to think about the problems of development in telecoms. She will thus continue to learn and be involved in the development of infrastructure and the engineering of advanced technologies that Mauritania will become equipped with. In fact, she participated in the boom of the mobile telephone sector, which will provide a large number of jobs in the ranks of young Mauritanians and create wealth opportunities unparalleled in Mauritania. If she succeeds her challenge to become Vice Secretary General of the International Telecommunication Union, Dr. Fatimatu wants to achieve another challenge, which is that of making the benefits of information and telecommunications technologies accessible to all people in the world. She has led a close campaign for several months to achieve that. She gives us her own trump card to meet this major challenge. In synergy with the Secretary General and all governing bodies, I intend to concretize the Union's strategy to meet all nations' will in the frame of good governance. Of course, I have convictions and vision too. I will work for access to information technologies and universal connectivity and its businesses essential for social, economic, and cultural development, which would stay harmonious, inclusive, and sustainable, and which would promote cultural diversity. My vision, indeed, is a fair and equitable development made of ethics and respect for differences and freedoms. I will favor working together to multiply reflections and innovation, as well as undertaking specific measures against the overall risks 
to universal value and protecting planetary balances, anxious to serve future generations. To succeed in all stakes in the complexity of space and standards. There are two key words which will continue to impose more than ever on our institution, dialogue and cooperation. In summary, I will strive for fair and just access to telecommunications and to the information society's advantages in a sustainable way. After all, is it not a matter of all's well-being? I will be honored if this vision and these values meet yours. Thank you very much for your attention.